one of my favorite sayings when I talk about service models and service propositions is that clients will leave you when they run out of the future. And this is one of the things I talk about. It's, it's, it's really important in your client experience and your marketing and your reviews to always have a big element of what you're talking about and letting clients know you're here and this is where we're headed. To be talking about the goals, to be talking about the progression, you know, to be talking about this is where you're going to be in five years. And when you get there, this is the next. Because when you're painting a picture of the future, you're painting a picture of possibility and, and opportunity. And I think you could easily, you know, cross that out and easily, just as easily say, uh, staff members leave you when they run out of future. Uh, particularly certain kinds of people. This is a model. I'm not going to run into it in detail, but there's a framework and I put it together for businesses in the past. It's called the apprentice progression. And the idea behind it is similar to, to, to business growth, which is if you are coming into a business and you're at a certain stage of development and you've got a goal to get to a certain stage of development, if you can put a roadmap in front of someone that says, these are the kind of things that you're going to need to do. These are the targets you're going to have to hit. These are the, uh, the skills you're going to have to learn to get to the next stage. You're painting a picture of the future and you're painting a picture of where they could be in the future. And if you were to start all, go all the way from the beginning to the end, you know, um, the end game in this case is, you know, a principal. How do you, you know, you're a principal where you own equity. You may be an award-winning advisor. You've got financial security. You work with a niche client base. Well, how do you get that? Well, if you start in the beginning, you're probably starting in an admin role where your goal is to learn the system. There's certain things you do, but ultimately your target is to become accurate and efficient. And again, underneath, there are certain, uh, let's get started the way so I can see what I'm doing. There are certain uh, uh, activities. There are certain learnings and there are certain KPIs you need to put in place. Once you've done the admin piece, you might move on to being a para planner where you're, you're, you're no longer about understanding the system. You are trying to understand the advice. And again, the goal here is you need to get to the point where you master the detail. And again, there's certain KPIs, there's certain uh, outcomes you want to achieve, there's certain activities. Let's say you, you come through that understanding the advice and you move to the next phase, which is you become an associate. Uh, your first goal is to assist, step in when needed. And the goal is to get to know the clients. And again, certain KPIs, certain activities, certain outcomes. Eventually, you progress further until you start to becoming someone, the associate who manages things. You're the key contact. And you're getting to the point where you are the one who's keeping it on track. You're the one who's making sure that the workflow is happening, everything's getting delivered. You're managing the team in the background. And again, certain KPIs, uh, certain outcomes, certain activities, and then eventually you become the advisor. Uh, you are uh, leading the relationship with your clients, and your goal here is to give great advice. Again, certain targets, certain goals that you can put in place. Eventually, you nail it. You're giving great advice, and you become the mentor. You become the advisor who's developing the team, and you're, got, you're getting to the point where you want to make it look easy, look like you've got the capability, and then you get into the next phase. Now, this is to sit down and do this, for your business and work through and use this as the template and kind of is, is as much about being able to sit down with someone who comes aboard and says, I want to be you. And you go, great. Well, here's the stages you go through. And that's going to give the right people something to aim at. And equally important, it's, <laughs> it's going to weed the wrong people out who are just going to look at that and go, well, that sounds too hard. That's not what I'm after. Um, and similarly, it's going to give you a path. So you can also say to people who just don't, who, you know, don't want to progress to un for that, get a picture of what, mastery looks like as well as set performance agreements and a whole bunch of other things so again it's a tool that i think at any point in time if you're growing to a level where you want to develop your own superstars and you want to bring people and you want to have them long term but also have the ability that people understand where they're at in their journey and what they should focus on and set some kpis this is a, an exercise worth going through